a very good morning class 6 students i hope you all are fine and doing good okay sorry class 7 students okay i'm very sorry so today we are going to do class uh, english grammar okay today we are going to do english grammar chapter 32 onsen passive or comprehension now today we are going to learn about the onsen passive because this onsen passive is very important for you because it will be given in your test time in the exam time as well as in your board exam time okay and the most important thing is that the first topic comes what is a comprehension now see comprehension contains short story or passages that are used to test your knowledge okay there are some kind of passages will be given to you and you should know how to uh, how how to answer it okay by, by reading of the passages of language and reading skill the comprehension should be re read properly with knowledge and then answer to the question asked should be attempted. That means the question answer will be given to you and according to that base of the question answer which is given to in the passage, you have to write exactly at that particular point what the question is asking you. It should be easy to understand and find answer if you attempt the question carefully. Yes. The main thing is that the answer will be itself inside that passage. Okay. You just have to read that passage thoroughly. You have to read that passage very carefully. And then and then you will get all the points regarding what is asked by the questions. Okay. So there are some general rules. Okay. There are some general rules which has to be kept in the mind while writing uh, while reading uh, while writing the unseen passes okay so first question first uh, first uh, uh, point will be we should read the unseen passes two or three times in order to know the meaning of the comprehension now that is we should always read that passage properly we should always read that passage properly two or three times one time you cannot uh, you cannot reply the uh, all the answer you all you always have to you always have to read two or three times then only you are going to get the point what the question is asking you in that particular passage okay understand now another is number two point number b is read the question of the company answer one by one and find out their answer in the passage yes when the question answer will be given to you in the passage, in the passage, on some passage, then you have to go to the particular question. What the question is asking you, exactly that point you have to give the answer in the passage. Okay, answer in the passage. Now, in the passage, what are there? There are so many answers will be there which you have to write. Okay, so many answers will be there, so you have to find out. So, exactly what the question is asking, you have to write that particular thing. Not more than that. If you write unnecessary, then you your marks will be deducted or you your answer will be wrong. Okay, so you have to read the question carefully one by one. Okay, now another is number C. You should answer the question in your own words. Yes, whenever the question is being asked in an unseen passage, always try to answer you answer in your own words. Old words means not in Nepali, not in Hindi. That means in English, but using your own words. Okay, because many of the students what they do is that during the exam time they all they copied all same to same passage answer in the question answer try to make your own point of view try to make your own sentence and try to do that in a better way so that you can score a better marks in your unseen passes okay now another point is number d you should give the answer in the same tense in which the question has been asked yes what the question is asking to you in the tense that same tense you have to you have to give okay that means you have to give that same tense okay that means in the same proper way what the question is asking what the question how the question is asking to you you have to reply in the same manner okay number e the title of unseen passage should suit the meaning of the passage that means the title the title of the passage should be always match with the passage given in the particular exam or in the test. Okay. If the passage will be given to you, then sometime it will be said, it will be asked to you that what will be the title of this passage. So reading the reading the passage for three or two times, three or four times, then you will come to know what exactly title you should give to that particular passage which is given you in the particular time. Okay. Now number F. You should write the summary, substance, uh, substance 
Christ or one thought of the passage. That means you should always write the summary. That what the quote, what the passage, what the passage is saying. You have to write the short summary. Like example, I am always giving you some kind of summary in your in your this one in your exam in your this one what in your. Uh, in your class voice, I always give you the short summary, yes or no, about the poem, about the uh, stories and all. Like same that you have to write the story, right? You have to write the same thing about the, you have to write the same thing, the short summary in the, in the uh, passage, okay? In the passage. Now, see students, today I'm going to give you some of the questions. I have already mentioned you the uh, class work, so, uh, so... Today I am going to read out, okay? I am going to read out, I am going to read out, uh, Sardar Patel was a strict man, people called him the Iron Man of India. He was no doubt an Iron Man in the sense, in the sense that he was an ethic administrator, but as a man to those who had to become emotional when his personal friends and followers were concerned. However, it goes without saying that the Sardar had a great skill of organizing affairs. He knew the art of selecting proper men for proper post. Once he judged the man and found him courage, he trusted him full and got him to do anything he want. So, like this type of passage will be given to you. Like this type of passage will be given to you and some type of question will be given. Read the above Read the now look here. Read the passage carefully and answer the question given below. So this type of question will be given to you. Okay, this type of question will be given to you. Uh, reading this question, reading this passage, you have to answer it. Okay. Now next one I'm going to read is that. Look here. Subhas Chandra Bose was a great leader of India. His countryman called him Netaji because he laid them on the right path. Full stop is there. Whenever there is a full stop, whenever there is a full stop is there, you have to stop for a while. Whenever there is a full stop, you have to stop for a while. If there is inverted comma, there is coma, you have to stop for a while. Okay. Now next one is that. Next one is that. He was imprisoned many times. But he soon found out that more efforts should be made to make India free. Okay, fully stop. Wait for some time. The British power was getting weaker in the Second World War. Fully stop. He thought of striking it from all sides. Did you get it? Now, next one. One day he escaped from Calcutta in the gazes of pa pa Pathan and went to Germany by. by Peshawar. From Germany, he went to Japan. He organized the Indian army he, that fought many battles against the British force. Okay. He said to his countrymen, give me blood and I will give you freedom. This is the main slogan which is given by Subhash Chandra Bose. Okay. Aap humko khun do, hum aapko azadi denge. That means give me blood, I will give you Freedom, okay, from the British. Okay, read this above, read this above passage and answer this question given below. So, this type of question will be given to you. This type of question will be given to you when you are reading. We are when you whenever you are going to do this type of question, please try to go through the passage, okay, do go through the passage properly so that you can answer it in the correct way in the point to point, okay. So Another thing is that another thing is that same kind of same kind of uh, passage will be given to you. Okay, so it is about the uh, for for less nautical nurza. So so many that will be given to you. Same kind of things you have to do. Okay, same kind of things you have to do in your exam time. Okay, hope you understand. Hope you understand and if you don't understand, you can leave your message in the WhatsApp group, not in YouTube group, in the WhatsApp group, okay? Students, hope you understand. Thank you so much, students. Stay home, stay safe.